Students tonight about tensions between Covington police and the county's top prosecutor. Local 12 News has learned the police chief has told his staff that no members of the Commonwealth Attorney's Office are allowed in the department without an escort. Anjanette Levy has a copy of the order and tells us why the chief issued it in a story you'll see only here on Local 12. We obtained this order through an open records request. Chief Brian Carter issued it on June 23rd, but he told me it's actually been in effect much longer than that. For many years, Kenton County Commonwealth's attorney Rob Sanders and his staff used key cards to get into the Covington Police Department. But in March, Police Chief Brian Carter ordered the key cards turned off. I asked why. Obviously, there were some uh, issues with trust, and that's about all that I can say about it. Um, members of the Commonwealth Attorney's Office, are, they're allowed in the building. <clears throat> they just have to have a, an escort while they're inside the building. Chief Carter concedes restricting a prosecutor's movements inside the police department is an unusual step since Sanders and his assistants prosecute felony cases investigated by Covington Police. Do you have confidence in him? I believe he has the ability to prosecute cases, if that's what you mean by confidence. Do you think he should be prosecuting cases? I don't have any comment mm -hmm. on that. Four Covington police officers are assigned to federal task forces. Carter points to this email Local 12 News obtained through an open records request as one of the issues of trust he has with Sanders' office. A Covington police detective raised concerns in February about Sanders' lack of cooperation in federal cases after a meeting with Assistant Commonwealth's attorney Casey Burns. The detective wrote that Burns told him Sanders was not willing to let inmates out of the Kenton County Jail to work as informants for federal agencies because of concerns about liability. But he would allow inmates to be released to work as informants for the Covington Police Department. Chief Carter says he has met with Sanders to discuss his concern and the Commonwealth's Attorney's Office lack of cooperation on federal cases. That's a little bit unusual for um, the Commonwealth Attorney to not cooperate with federal agencies. Um, we are trying to work through those uh, differences now. Um, I have met with Rob Sanders and uh, hopefully in the near future we can get past the, uh, the cooperation issue with the federal agencies. Local 12 has contacted Rob Sanders four times this week for an interview. He has not agreed to our request. If he does, we'll let you know. In Covington, Anjanette Levy, Local 12 News. We told you earlier this week about Sanders reporting his county issued gun missing. He says it was stolen last month from an unlocked vehicle in his garage. That case is still under investigation. If you know something about the Taurus PT 92 9mm handgun that's missing, call Fort Mitchell Police.